Hi, I'm Sage. I am an intuitive oracle and tarot card reader. I'm new to the tarot, um, YouTube tarot community. So it would be greatly appreciated if you could support the channel and help grow the channel and get us in YouTube's algorithm by liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting down below. This is a, um, for those who need it, energy read for our um, Cancer Collective. I've already done Gemini, Taurus, and Aries, so you're more than welcome to uh, watch those. I would highly encourage you to watch those videos if you have any of those signs aspected in your chart. If you are unfamiliar with the chart, I would highly advise <clears throat> excuse me, that you um, look up your natal chart um, so you can know what other zodiac signs that you embody. Um, it actually helps with getting to know yourself, your personality and characteristic traits, understanding yourself um, and your purpose. So um, thank you for being here. I'm going to try to keep this video short because I have so many others to do. Um, but there are also love readings and um, I did elemental readings as well. Um, so we would really appreciate it. So I'm going to do two oracle cards and then I'm going to give you advice with the um, daily crystal message as well. So let's pick up on the energy for our cancer for our first guys and ancestors. For those who need it in the Cancer Collective Bank Group, thank you, sir. So you have the Great Gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits and soul tribe. At the bottom of the deck, of the deck, you have share your voice. Come out the cave. Persecution expression. Okay. And then I'm going to read what those messages mean out of the deck. I'm sorry, out of the book so we can get more clear messages for you. This is your current energy for those who need it. So I'm picking up on the energy for the cancer, some of the cancer, some of you all. Um, that you all are getting, you're meeting new people, you, these soul traps. Um, these people could actually be divinely guided in a central way. And the reason why these people are your soul trap is being, you're being connected with your soul trap is because your spirit guides and ancestors want you to use your voice, share your voice, express yourself. Um, basically to be more open and expressive. You probably have a story to tell. Maybe sharing your story will help these this collective of people, like the, your tribe, the masses. Thank you, Spirit. So let's see. Okay. It's like you've been kind of like in the dark maybe in hermit mode, hermit mode you may have been isolated or isolated yourself um cut off from the world cut off from people due to between here we go doors to personal growth and healing and happiness and action so yeah so your spirit guides and ancestors want you to take action you're going to be sending um meeting connecting you with your soul tribe so you're going to be once you get out of the shadows and just go out into the world and it can be expressive you're going to um you're going to meet new people and these people want to help you with being more accepting and expressive of yourself at the bottom of the deck you have the action card and i correlate this with the um chariot card which is number seven and three is three plus seven and three plus four is seven so this the seven and tarot is the chariot card which talks about action taking action um movement motion and triumphant of will 
um, especially during hard times. So, um, then you have this angel of strength at the bottom of the deck. Your angels in, are with you. Your spirit guides and ancestors are with you at this time. Um, also, sevens represent spirituality and personal growth and solitude. So, you have been in a state of solitude for quite some time from what I'm feeling. Um, and it's now time for you to cut out into the world. Um, meet your soul tribe and be yourself. Have fun. Express yourself. So, come out of that cave. So, I'm going to read this so you can get a more um, direct message. The Great Gathering. Okay, the great, great gathering, it all, it's all coming together. Intuitive hits so trap. You are being called to let your intuition move you physically. You are connected to a group of souls who are weaving a web around the planet. And as you travel and share your creation, creation something is rethreaded. This card is an acknowledgement that you are either being called to connect with others who are like you, at a soul level or they are that you are already or sorry or that you already are you are being called to gather groups of people either by leading them or becoming part of a group that can support you and your soul's personal mission you are a part of a group of souls who agree to be here at this time in history to heal yourself your um, ancestral, ancestral line and the planet to raise consciousness so that we can continue to call this magnificent place home for heirs to come. One of many consciously chosen, cho I'm sorry, one of many consciously cho choosings to, choosing to devote your life to something greater than yourself. It's time to call in your tribe by sharing your soul's voice and letting yourself be seen. When you share what is real and true to you, and you share the medicine that you must need those who are like you will gather around you. You are your tribe. They are just like you. And just as you are longing and searching for them, they are longing and searching for you too. Work your light, light activation. Hold the card on your heart and say, I choose now to let myself be seen. I am ready to call in my soul tribe and create a web of light all over the planet. Yeah, so... um. The spirit guys want you to just know it's time. You have, you may have, have already been enlightened of your mission here on this earth. There are so many other people who are just like you in this world and they need you at this time. They need to hear your voice. They need you to hear your story. They need you to hear your truths and you to express yourself. So um, I'm going to read this other card, um, Doors to personal, ha personal Healing and Happiness. And what I'm also picking up on this energy is that in doing this, in expressing yourself and moving forward and taking action to do so, you're going to heal yourself and find comfort and happiness and peace, abundance in doing this. Do door to um, 34 door to personal healing and happiness, new beginnings in your personal life. Upright, this card is a harbing, harboring. I ain't never even, I'm sorry, this card is a harbinger of a positive change. The beautiful, light filled door opens onto a lush, rainbow lit, spring filled with vibrant lotus flowers. Whether you're working on some inner healing, such as breaking an addic addiction or looking to make some external changes, such as finding a new place to live. This card signals that your life is opening up and new opportunities are about to appear. The changes you've been working on are, are ready to blossom with wonderful results. So make sure you see your personal intentions through with continued action and optimistic expectations. And yes, you got the action card. So that's your current energy. Like, oh, that's the energy that you will be, need to be in. Um, Cause you have a mission to fulfill and you have some continued healing and, and happiness too, to, in, to embark on. So um, I really hope this message resonates with you for those who need it. If it doesn't, don't force it. Um, tarot, when it comes to tarot, it's past, present and future. So if you know your story and this suits you, you already know whether it, it, it resonates with you or not. But it could also be present. And again, um, 
if it doesn't resonate, look at up other look at the other readings that I have on the page. Whew. Um, let me come. I just have so much energy right now. I didn't have that at first, but um, it's fine. Let me get you your advice, cancers. This is actually a good message, and this seems like a message of encouragement for sure. What is some advice for our cancer collective for those who need a spirit guide and ancestors? Thank you. It's too many. It says Moonstone, live your purpose. So at, to, to help you move forward in taking this action or taking this action moving forward, it may help you to have this stone close to you. You can even like print it out on a piece of paper. You can also um, just envision it during meditation and taking the moments of mindfulness, um, engaging in mindfulness meditation. Um, let me get your advice. Forgive me. I've been stumbling over my words. I just got um, braces again uh, for the second time. So I, I have to get adjusted to it. Um, so just bear with me. <laughs> I probably sound crazy. You may hear me just like stumble over my words or I may even misspeak sometimes because I speak, I get intuitive messages so fast and I'm just trying to get them out. But um, I'm working on, you know, taking my time with that. So please forgive me. So Moonstone, live your purpose. Life is a journey. We each have a unique calling to find our own way along a path to a more purposeful life. It is time to discover a deep, deeper meaning within yourself and ensure the actions you take and the choices you make are in fact intentional and purposeful how can you make a difference what can you contribute what is your legacy follow your heart as well as your conscience just like the moon waxes and wands you may feel at times as though you are getting closer to and then further from your true purpose when you know you walk on the path towards your highest purpose, you feel fulfilled each and every day. Core questions. Why am I here? What is my purpose on this planet? What would it feel like if I were living my highest purpose? Crystal action. Affirm, I walk my path with purpose. Today, write down three things your life would look like if you were living your purpose. Then take action towards one or more of these values. So that really coincides with this message um, that it's time for you to embark on your purpose here on this earth. We all are descendants of God and we all are here uh, for a purpose. We are walking angels, but we also have our spirit guides and ancestors who are angels in spirit form that are guiding us along our way. So there could be those of you who are already enlightened and know what your purpose is. And it's time for you to take action towards your purpose because you have we have work to do here. And then there are those of you who are trying to find your purpose, but you will be attracting your soul tribe who's going to help you embark on that endeavor and finding what your purpose is is expressing yourself and just coming up out of that cave of isolation because it's time you need to be seen you need to be heard because you're not only going to help the collective here on earth but you're going to help yourself when it comes to healing and accruing more happiness so i really hope this reading resonates if it does please like share and subscribe um help grow the channel help get us in the algorithm have a great day